In this video, I'll show you how you can create a custom game in Fragpot. Once you are in the main menu, you're gonna have to click on play. Then you're going over to this button right here, which says custom game. Here you have a variety of options to choose from map training, room list and create room. We're going to click on create room. Now here we can do a variety of things. For example, here you can choose in what team you would like to be. We're currently in team A. If you would like to switch positions, we can just click on this button right here. Now we are in team B. So what we can do here is we can actually add bots to our teams. We can choose which characters the bots are going to be. Here we can choose the difficulty of those bots and on which team the bots are are going to be for example you would like to have bots on team a only you can do that here you can choose the amount of bots in those teams for example you would like to have four you can do that and the remaining empty slot can be used for a real player so the empty slots can actually be filled up with real players now what you can also do is you can choose the game mode of your custom game for example here you can see the amount of game modes that you can choose from you can also choose the map you would like to play there are currently seven maps for example you can choose this map but you can also have a random rotation now if you go down here you can see the r button and this actually gives you the option to choose in which server you would like to host your custom game now we're going to keep it in europe in this case we're going to click on confirm and here we can actually go to the game settings and here we will have advanced options for our specific server for example we can we can give our server a name. For example, you are cooked. We can give our server a password. So only specific type of people can join. We can put it to friends only, to everyone or invite only. You can choose whether or not those people can invite other players. You can choose the team size of those players, the number of spectating slots, etc. You can go to the mode sections even and adjust it very specifically. This is very cool to do. You can do attribute settings as well. These are more advanced settings. You can then click on save preset. You can reset the page or you can also have multiple presets by saving the current preset. So once you have done that, you can or click on the invite button and invite your friends or type their username or idea up here. Or you can just copy the room code and you can share it with people. So if they implement it, they can then join your server that way. And if you are ready to launch the server, you can then basically click on start and the server will then be launched. 